Onwards to the next part of our test. Which was to find out how utilitarian they are. We're going to do this by seeing which one of us can get the most amount of dogs in the boot of our car. <sighs> Hammond, you idiot. What? What are they? If you say dog in Canada, these are what you get. Newfoundlands. Hammond, they're enormous. They're not dogs. They're cattle. Yeah. Oh, whoa, uh, whoa, they're whoa, having whoa, whoa. sex There's, do there's dog you. sex. There's actual dog sex going on. Dog sex. Maybe, maybe we, we should. We don't need to see this. In a brief break from the mating, we got on with the test. Up we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Up in the car. Well, it's a new Range Rover. Come on, dog. Right. Um, there's. No. No. Oh, God. Up we go. In, in we go. The dog has never been in a car and doesn't want to go in one. Right. Sit. Getting another dog. Dog beer. Ow. Yes. Stay. Uh, home. The Alfa Romeo, not only the sportiest vehicle, but as you can see, perfectly capable of handling a brace of dogs. Oh. Yeah, the problem is, you know electric tailgates? If they sense anything, they'll open. Yes, that's what's... <laughs> <laughs> so you can't actually it's close. Gonna, it's not going to stay in, is it? Oh! Biggest dog here is in. You yes, but you try to close it. OK, then close your boot lid. <sighs> Go on, then. You see, it won't close because it's electric. <laughs> what we've established, then, so far, is that these cars are nowhere near as fast as an ordinary car around a racetrack, that you cannot put a medium-sized dog in them because of the electric tailgate, mm -hmm. and you'll damage them because they've all got painted rear ends and mm -hmm. carpeted boot floors. And that concludes another important test. I'm sorry. <laughs>